Hello, welcome back to another Blender tutorial, today we will learn how to make a glass then we'll do the shading, and finally we'll learn how to fill our glass with water and keep it totally render friendly. But first we jump into Blender, if you are new here or have not subscribed my channel already, then please subscribe so you are always updated of my new upcoming videos, and if you love my work and want to support then you can follow me on Patreon, all my Patreons will be getting the blend file for free, or you can find the blend file on Gumroad as well, I will leave the links in the description. Well back to Blender, delete the cube and the lamp. Drag your reference image directly into the scene. Alt G and Alt R to clear all transformations, RX90, press 1 to go to front view. Shift A, bring in a cylinder into the scene. Reduce the vertices count to 8, cap fill to nothing. Reduce the opacity of the reference image, then set depth to back. Tap to go to edit mode, scale it along its Z axis. Turn on X-ray view. S Shift Z to match it with the reference image, but keep in mind to not scale it along X or Y axis, it will totally mess up the shape. Control R to add a loop cut, now scale it down. Add one more loop, and then scale it up. It's the same process for now, adding loop cuts and then scaling them. Try to match the shape and it is totally okay if you think your one side is not matching a lot, we just have to stick to one side, match it close to the reference and try to keep it low poly. Do not worry about the bottom, we will fix it manually. We have our base mesh ready, right click, shade smooth, normals, check auto smooth. Now go to the modifiers tab and select subdivision surface, increase levels to 2. Now if we compare it to the reference after adding the modifier, we can see it lost the shape and it is quite thin now. Tap to go to edit mode, alt select a vertex to select a full loop then shift alt select to select more loops as well. Now scale it to match with the reference. Scale the bottom loop now. We can also scale this edge loop to match our mesh more with the reference. Well it's looking quite good now, but our work is not yet done. Press 7 to go to top view. Turn off real time display. Alt select the top loop, go to front view, E to extrude, then scale it down a little. Extrude it down, bring it closer to the middle edge loop, then scale it down, keep in mind that the inner mesh should not be popping out of the outer mesh, so always double check. Add another loop cut, keep the inner and the outer loops closer to each other, so the shape stays the same. And always check if you didn't accidentally pushed it outward. Now add another loop cut, and the process is the same. I will be adding a loop cut on the top so it maintains little shape on the top as well. But if we have a closer look, it's quite thick on the top now. Press double G to slide the inner loop towards the outer edge. Then Alt select the inner loop and scale it inward, I kept it thicker on purpose, so I can teach you how to get rid of thick edges, because I know many of the new beginners will find it useful.
It's looking quite good now. Go to top view now. I'll select the inner loop. Now go to face, grid fill. Now I'll select the bottom edge loop, E to extrude it downward. Now E to extrude and then S to scale it down. Now again go to face, grid fill. Go to face select mode, C to activate circle select to select some faces, then move them upward a little. Control R to add another edge loop around the bottom edge as well. Our glass modeling process is done, now it's time for shading. Go to the material editor, click on new. Increase transmission to 1, and I have seen many of you guys decrease roughness all the way to 0, but I prefer 0.01, and we are done. Shift A, bring in a plane, then scale it big. Now go to the shading tab. Switch to world. Shift A, bring in an environment texture. Now select any HDRI from your hard drive, and if you do not have any, you can download from hdrihaven.com. Increase strength to 2.5. Now go to layout and select render view. It is getting rendered with EV now, without any specific EV glass render settings, we will see the cycles render in a while. Now it's time to make the inner liquid to pop up our glass even more. Select face select mode, alt click to select complete face loops, shift alt select to select the others, then C to circle select and select the rest of the faces. Shift D to duplicate and leave it in its place, go to front view, activate x-ray, then scale it down a little so it's not intersecting with any other faces. Now press P, separate by selection. Now we have to fill the top of the liquid mesh we just created. Hide the glass. Tap to go to edit mode. Alt select the top vertices. E to extrude then scale it down. And then grid fill. Now if I turn on real time display it's totally messed up, to fix it, add an edge loop and drag it upward closer to the top edge, it looks better now, and it's always good practice to slide the top loop upward a bit always while creating liquid, because otherwise it will not look natural. Unhide the glass. Go to the material editor. Press 2 to make this material unique, then name it liquid. Go to the shading tab. Switch to object, we will not be using the base color to be our final liquid color, instead we will bring in principled volume. Now go to render view and switch to cycles. We now have a glass of water. Go to viewpoint shading, check scene lights and scene world. So now if I change the color, it's not updating. Even in render view, we can see it's not changing. Go to solid view, check face orientation, you can clearly see the liquid normals are inverted. 
A to select all the mesh then shift and to invert the faces. And now if I go to render view, I can clearly see it's darker now but still there is no color, it's because we do not have any light bounces for our volume. In light paths increase volume to 12, and we have color now. Control Alt Z to place a camera directly at your viewing angle. Reduce resolution to 50%. You can also change the liquid IOR to 1.33 if you want in the principled shader node. And we will do a quick render. You can see we got this render without any external lights and less sample count, and it's still looking decent. Shift D to duplicate the glass and the liquid. In material editor press 2 to make it unique and then change its color. Now another quick render, you can see it's looking beautiful but it will never be perfect without external lights. Now it's time for you to light up the scene, play with some camera settings, use camera's depth of field, if you do not know how to do that. I have many videos already in my channel where I explained all that in detail, these are some of those tutorials. I hope you loved the tutorial. If you did then please like the video and subscribe my channel so you are always updated of my new upcoming tutorials. Well this is all for today, see you in my next video, take care till then, happy blending.